Hi, my name is Sam and this is another Pergeos tutorial. This is just a really quick one. It is on pore space analysis. So to start out, we're going to go to file, open data, and we're going to go to Berea underscore subplug underscore view dot am and we're just going to double click on that. And then we're going to go straight to the segmentation workspace. And we're going to go to the tool browser and we're going to just find the interactive overlay threshold. So our goal is just to select the pore space and none of the other, none of the actual rocks. So to do this, we're going to select, we're going to go down to about here. And as you can see, none of the rock is selected, but all the pore space is selected. So then we're going to go down here. First, we have to click apply. So we actually select it, then we click plus. There we go. Now you can see it's all that bluish shade. So next, we want to measure the poros porosity using in the analysis workspace using the porosity tool. And we have the input image and we're going to keep the interpretation as 3D. And we're just going to click apply. And as you see here, we can see the volume fraction that is pore space. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove all the floating pores. So we're going to keep only the pore space that is connected to other pores. So to do this, we're going to apply a connected pore space analysis tool. I guess we're going to stay in the analysis workspace and we're going to do that. So we're going to go to tool browser and we're going to go search connected pore space and we're going to just, the settings we can just leave the same and we're just going to click apply. Uh, then we're going to measure the porosity again. Just one more time, and we want to see how this the volume fraction went down from 0.183 to 0.182. So that means we took out some of the pore space. So the next thing we're going to do is to visualize the floating pores. We're going to go to the editing workspace, and we are going to apply subtract image. I want to subtract the view dot labels with the connected pore space to get what it took out. All right, as you can see, we now have what it took out. So next we're going to visualize all these pores. We're going to go to the visualization workspace and we're going to use two volume renderings, one of the sub and another one of the labels and one of the connected pore space. And we're going to set this first one to a different color. We want to just set it to temperature, just so you can see. And as we, you can see, we can, you know, let me move to a different tool. We can see all the places where there's unconnected pore space there, right here. All right. So next we're going to go to separate connected pores. We want all right, so next we're going to separate the connected pores. To do this, we're going to go back to the analysis workspace and we are going to use the separate pore space tool. So I'm going to, we want to apply it on the connected pore space and we're just going to use a skeleton method, which is aggressive, and we're just going to click apply. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to apply is, next we're going to output the statistics about the pore space. So to do this, we're going to use the labeled pore space analysis tool. And then next, we're going to generate the pore space network. So we're going to first generate some statistics and we're just going to click apply. And you can see the statistics up here and use them for what you need to use them for. Then we're going to go to generate pore network model. And we're going to, click, we're going to select separate and we're going to click apply. So this might take a few minutes. So I'm just going to cut until it ends. Okay, that was quite quick, so I'm not actually don't need to cut at all. <laughs> so next we're going to, we can see the poor network 
And if we change one of these colors to something to kind of get more powerful, like red, we can see and we grow the we can see all of the different separate pores and we can zoom around and we can change the size of any of these to make it look really different. So the next thing we're going to do is we can calculate statistics such as pore size distribution, pore throat size distribution, coordination number, and etc. And we can use this, we're going to plot all these things using the histogram panel which is right here. I'm going to click on and we're going to, so we want to select P and P and M and we want to select volume. And we can just select many different ones. So I'm just going to select area, volume, X chord, throat, throat radius, and we're going to plot these on there. So now to view them, We just, if we just drag it down, we can see all of these different ones and how they correlate. All right. So next, we're going to classify the pores using the sieve analysis tool. And to do, and that we can just do right here and just click search for sieve analysis. And we're going to click, keep it all the same. And, oh, we're going to measure with the vault. We need to select a measure. Well, we need to select data too. So we're going to do um, separate label source and we're going to select volume 30, number of values. I think we're going to click four for this one and we're just going to click apply. So you can change each of these values to be different places in it. And all right, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. It was a lot of fun. For me, the pore space model is the most interesting part of it. Please comment what you think was the best part of this tutorial down below. Please like it if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, and please subscribe. Thanks so much and have a nice